there is always a direct correlation between how prepared you are and the offer you get. Hello, my name is Juby, co-founder at Yellow Tell, where we help people with no IT background get their first high paying IT job. So today I wanna to talk about the adaptive interview process. So basically I wanna talk about the direct correlation between an offer and the preparedness you bring into the process. A lot of people think the interview process is a binary process. It couldn't be any further from the truth. People think that you either get the job or you don't, and it's not that simple. There is such a thing as an adaptive interview process. In most places, they have multiple availability, multiple openings. Let's say, for example, you're going for a DevOps engineer job, but there are multiple levels. There are typically a senior level, a mid-level, and a junior level. So what happens is it depends on how the candidate performs. So let's say you get into an interview. They usually start interviewing you at the highest level that they need meaning a senior level. So you might not be performing well at a senior level in the interview. That doesn't mean you automatically get rejected. So what they usually do, if they're not convinced that you are at a senior level, they notch it down. Now they start interviewing you at a mid-level DevOps engineer. And if you're still not performing at that level, they notch it down to a junior level DevOps engineer. So what usually happens is even if they don't have a position as a senior DevOps engineer in their team, they might be able to transfer you to another team that needs a junior level engineer or a mid-level engineer. So it's not a binary process where either you did well or you don't get the job at all. So especially in bigger environments, there are multiple positions that they are trying to fill in general. So you might not get a senior position, you might get a mid-level or junior position. It depends on what it is they are looking for. And another reason why the interview process is adaptive, you might think you are not that great in the interview, but it also has to do with how well the other interviewers were doing before you. So you might feel that, yeah, you bummed the interview or you didn't do that great, but if everybody else did worse than you, you will still get an offer. But of course, like I said, if you did terrible, yes, it's gonna be a binary process. You're not gonna get the job. You're not even gonna get a call. That's also one thing you have to keep in mind. So it really has to do with where your expertise fall and how you are compared to other people who are interviewing for the same position. So to wrap up, what I'm trying to say is there's always a direct correlation between how prepared you are and the offer you get. So that's why you never know exactly what salary you're gonna be offered if you get the job, because you don't know yet at what level you perform, if you perform at a senior, mid-level, or a junior level. By the way, check us out at yellowtel.tech to see what we're about, look around. If it looks like a good fit, schedule a career strategy session with our team, and let's talk about it. And if you got value out of this, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for other videos like this one.